Very cool. Now, what about the extras? So like I told you, the extras, I can take everything in one library. I still have this IOC component that I need to port. So let's take it and add it to my standard class library. Okay. And now it is in. And now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to build. It's going to fail. What is the issue? Well, the issue is I don't have a dependency on common service locator. That is correct. Breaking change. Just going to remove that completely. So I need to remove that, which means that my simple IOC doesn't support iService locator anymore. Breaking change. You need to inform your users, but they will understand. Okay. If you explain them well, that's fine. Then I have a few places where it's going to show up, like here. And after that, we have those exceptions. Now, those exceptions come from the common service locator package. So I decided to replace them with another type of exception called invalid operation exception. And so again, that's a breaking change because if they try to catch activation exceptions, they are going to have an issue. Okay. So again, you need to inform your users, but I'm okay with that. And so far I had rather some good feedback about that. So I would say, let's just replace that everywhere. Okay. Now at this point we are done. So I can rebuild that project and you should see build succeeded, which is great. So now what did we produce? Let's go and take a look. If I go in this folder on the bin debug, net standard zero is empty. That's good. Net standard one zero is where I have this DLL. This DLL supports .NET standard 1.0. So I can use it everywhere. 